This video is about using differentiation to find out when a function is increasing, so when it's got a positive gradient, when it's decreasing, that's when it's got a negative gradient, and when it's stationary, that's where its gradient is zero. So I've got a function over here. So as you can see, there are parts of the function where it's going up. So this part here, we've got an increasing, increasing function, positive gradient. Same again over here. We're going to have a increase. It's going to be increasing over here. So it's got a positive gradient. So a function is increasing. So it's got a positive gradient when dy dx, which is the gradient function, is bigger than zero. So a positive gradient is when dy dx, the gradient function, is bigger than zero. It's decreasing. So it's got a negative gradient when dy dx is negative, so less than zero. And stationary points, that's where there's no gradient. So it's this moment here where it turns, it's got no gradient. And here where it turns, it's got no gradient. So that's when dy dx is equal to zero. So a function is increasing when dy dx is positive, decreasing when dy dx is negative, and stationary where dy dx is equal to zero. Okay, we've got some questions here. The first one says, find the set of values of x for which this function is increasing. So if we want to know where a function is increasing, that means dy dx, the gradient function, is positive bigger than zero so the function is going to be increasing when dy dx is positive so we need to find dy dx so we need to differentiate the function so if i differentiate the function i'm going to use this notation it means exactly the same as dy dx so the gradient function is and then to differentiate i'm going to times by the power take one off the power so that's going to be 2x plus 5. So the gradient function is 2x plus 5. And I need to know where it's increasing, where it's positive. So 2x plus 5 is positive, increasing. So it's bigger than 0. I'm going to solve this now. So I'm going to minus 5 from both sides. And divide by 2. So there we have it. So the set of values of x for which the function is increasing, that's where x is bigger than minus 5 over 2, or minus 2.5. Same thing for the next question, but it says find the set of values of x for which this function is decreasing. So it's where dy dx is negative, less than 0 this time. So first step, again, we need to differentiate it, find the gradient function. So our dy dx this time, our f dash x, we're going to times by the power and take one off the power again. Same process. So we should get our differentiated function as 3x squared minus 10x minus 8. Now we need to make it less than 0. So we know 3x squared minus 10x minus 8, our gradient function is negative, less than 0. So we've got a quadratic to solve now. Um, the easiest way to solve it is only to factorise it. If it doesn't factorise, we can of course use the quadratic formula, but this one does factorise. So we're going to have 3x in one bracket, x in the other bracket, and it's going to be, that's going to give me a minus 12, plus 2 for my minus 10, and they multiply to give me the, the negative 8. Um, there's lots of methods people use to factorise uh, quadratics for a coefficient of greater than 1 um, in front of the x squared, but that's the answer you should, you should get. So, um, so we've got x is going to cross the axis at, so it's going to cross the x-axis at if it said equal 0, the solutions would be minus two thirds and four. 
So that's where it crosses the axis. So if I give you a little sketch here, it's crossing at minus two thirds and at four. So it looks something like that. And we want to know where it's less than zero. So where is it underneath the cut? Where is it underneath the axis? It's this bit here. That's where it's less than zero. What are the x values here? Well, we've got in between minus two thirds and four. So it can be in between minus two thirds and four. And they are the set of values for which the function is decreasing. Okay, here's another two questions. Pause the video, give them a go, then I'll go through the answers after. Okay, the first one, find the set of values of x for which the function is decreasing. So the function is decreasing, dy dx is negative, less than zero. So we need to find the gradient function, find dy dx first. So the gradient function is times by the power, take one off the power, remember, 2x minus 8 we should get. We need to know where it's negative, so that means 2x minus 8 is negative. Then we need to solve it, so plus 8 to both sides. And then divide by 2, so x is less than 4. And the second question, find the set of values of x for which the function is increasing. Increasing means dy dx is positive, bigger than 0 this time. So again, find the gradient function, we differentiate it. That's 3x squared minus 10x plus 3. And we need to know where that is positive. Where it's positive. So again, we need to solve a quadratic, we're going to factorise it. So 3x and 1x and the other. Minus 3 and minus 1. So it's going to cross the axis at one third and at three. So again, if we have a sketch, we've got one third and three. And this time it's bigger than zero. So bigger than zero are these bits here. What are the X values? These ones and these ones. So x is less than a third, or x is bigger than three.